Hey Pedro, thank you for sending these two again. I really appreciate that. Um, now, I really like this uh, map, but okay, what I would suggest is you need four, four sections. It's really easy to remember. Four sections in the essay, four sections in this. Okay, that for me is visually clearer and works better. Uh, now, really, really important thing. Look how tiny this is. 100 meters. So it's 250 meters long. It's absolutely tiny. So I'm going to challenge you on this word urbanization. Urbanization is a, is a town. There's no town going on. So I think the guess we're going to go is tourism. I mean, the, the diagram doesn't tell you that, but I think that's an intelligent guess. So I would go with that. The following diagrams illustrate an island map previous and following tourism development. Okay. Prior to construction, that's fine. The island was around 200 meters long. It still is. Um, the island hasn't changed. Uh, the island, so do it like this one, which measures present tense around 200. So, so you can do it that way. It's good detail. Um, prior to construction was deserted. Only beach to the left and some sparse trees were found. Good. Uh, the shape looked like a... Okay, that's interesting. Hey. Okay. Um, I mean, the shape hasn't changed. Either or the shape isn't going to change. But that's okay. That's, that's interesting. Um, so you could say here, comma, shaped like. Do it that way. And then what? Then it's a longer sentence, isn't it? Uh, right. During, sorry, the development process. Yeah, the development process. Um, some buildings, some you can't say some major, but important. That's a mistranslation. Watch out, that is absolutely Spanish. So be careful. So important buildings were constructed on the central part. Okay. Namely, so you can tell me what that what it is. Uh, uh, have a guess. Reception area. Um, and so make longer sentences is my main recommendation here. To either side of these connected by foot. Good. You've got the passive tense there, which is brilliant. So that's also something I'm really looking for. Passives. Fantastic. The right one said circular fashions. Yep, the left one's a bit irregular. Nice. Small pier where boats could dock was established. Um, yeah, established. Other words you could have is, oh, sorry, established. You could have um, was constructed. You've got um, was added. Uh, was, uh, let me think, what could we have? Uh, positioned. So think about the language as well as much as you can on the inferior border. Good. Um, so you could put here something like in order to connect the main buildings to accommodation and other facilities, a number of small paths have been added or were added. Something like that. Okay, but you've absolutely got the idea of it. So well done. So basically my main message on this one is passive verbs and geography. So you're going on the left on the top, but use this northwest uh, on the eastern side. A lake has been constructed or has been dug. So remember, you need the geography as well. Geography and passives. Same if you have a process diagram, same idea. But good, Pedro. That's a nice one. This is a really interesting essay. I think it's very, very important. My first comment, looking at this immediately, avoid on the one hand, on the other hand. It is not kind of band seven. It's more like 6.5. So there are other ways of doing this. So I'll show you how. Uh, green energy is becoming more prevalent, to show you know the meaning of that one. Some argue they reduce costs and are better for the environment. Others believe they're a threat okay, to security, so there isn't enough. Many countries around the world are shifting to clean and renewable energies. Uh, why? So tell me why. Because. So this is what's going to get you that band seven. You are doing so well. So you said to me, how are you doing? 
and you are doing so well and you've made such a lot of progress <clears throat> but you need to this I want the added value give me the extra oops here give me the extras I'm going to put them in a uh, another color give me more well some nationalities defend the ecological and economical advantage very nice uh, economic watch out there different meanings Others believe this energy is not completely reliable. Excellent. A really former discuss. Okay. Uh, very good. So it has widely been shown that there is ample evidence. Oh, okay. It's widely been shown. All right, hang on. It's widely known that there is ample evidence. Uh, I'm going to change that as well and make a suggestion. So that's a stronger start. It's widely known, there's ample evidence, that clean energies, like wind and solar, are not only cost-effective and, and eco ecological, uh, are cost-effective and ecologically, that must be an adverb going with that adjective to the environment because they avoid carbon emissions to the atmosphere. And in addition, comma, Reduce, you've got a plural there, greenhouse gas effect and consequently global warming. Fantastic sentence. Whew, super long, okay? But I like it because it's complex. Well done. Furthermore, as they rely on weather rather than fossil fuel, weather, namely the sun, wind or sea, so give me more, rather than, long, rather than fossil fuel, they are not wasted and can be repeat, repeatedly reused. Uh, comma, so reducing long-term cost. Well done. For example, okay, in small, uh, where wind turbines were built, um, electricity value or cost to consumers? I think you mean cost to consumers. Was reduced by 80% and carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide count, count in the air yeah, or air pollution drops significantly. Okay, so this uh, indicates that. If you have time, give me another sentence there, just to conclude that paragraph. So very good paragraph. Look, hardly any errors, but really good. If you can, push on your tenses. Give me a conditional. Give me some more passives. Give me a bit more grammar. Just put push the grammar in there. Um, to get yourself maximum points on grammar. You don't want to be writing it all in the present tense. It's not exciting enough. Um, oh, look. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Um, however, oh, um, it is well documented then instead. Sorry, I, I hadn't seen yours. Documented that these energies are not completely safe by themselves. Um, safe or reliable, you've got the word reliable, use it again, you're right, by themselves, comma, watch out the commas, as a country's main energy source, because of the oscillating pattern of their production methods, their production methods, okay, the main reason is twofold, okay, firstly, they depend on weather conditions, uh, first, they depend on weather conditions, which are, watch out, watch out, watch out, big mistake, so has unpredictable um, due to, uh, well, climate change, flooding or drought. So give me some examples, get some language in here. What are the, what, why are they unpredictable? Give me some vocab connected to weather, causing fluctuating energy levels and su what well, supply. Uh, whoops. Uh, and variable supply. So I know you don't want to make it too long, but this is really important, this value added bit. Second, due to current climate change, some places have registered significant shifts in the weather conditions. Okay. Okay, so uh, all right, um I'm predict are, are these not the same points here? I sort of think, are they not the same things? Um, so I think, secondly, I put there might not... Uh, hmm. Some days have registered the same shifts in the weather, therefore climate... 
have been affected. Okay. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yes. How interesting. Fantastic. I love that. Very interesting. Well done. Yeah, good work. To conclude, comma, watch out the commas. I personally can them protect the environment and are cost effective. Despite initial setup costs. I think you have to put that in. They're very expensive to build at the beginning. However, there's still some issues regarding their safety. That's actually just singular. That should be solved. Passive to keep encouraging its use. Very good work there. Those, those are your best. Absolutely your best. Really, really good. Um, I maybe made it a bit long. You've done so well, Pedro. I'm really, really happy with your progress. Um, I think you're going to do well in your exam. I think you need to just keep thinking about adding the value for the band seven. They're so hard, these horrible band sevens. Keep adding the value. These little things really make a difference. Um, show the examiner the very, very best you can. And remember, you're getting marks on the grammar, getting marks on the vocab. Everything has to be amazing. Okay, but very, very well done. If you want to keep going with some more practice, uh, get an extra essay pack, which a lot of people do, just to keep them practicing all the way up till the exam. Uh, but very well done. Good for you.